Okay. Esse zoom tá. Welcome, people. Welcome. Today is the 120 days after activating our people's Mr. Augusta, are you able to hear? Mr. Augusta. Uh, I'm not hearing from Daughters of Truth. The Daughters of Truth does not have volume. It does on my side. Take care of volume. Okay, let me go back. Let me go back. Hold on. We have audio. Um, so already we have heard from. Hmm. This is a wonderful day, my people. You guys, this. Oh, I'm so excited. Sister Mona, did you mute it? 
They are not hearing, yeah. they can hear you, but not the conference. Uh oh, call for me. Yeah. Are you able to hear? Tony's voice is not coming out. Okay, let me see what's going on. Sure. Oh, sorry our people let me try to connect it not sure why it's not coming out so guys are you able to hear it though can you hear tony from the no not on our screen okay not on our screen now Okay, our people, bear with me. I am about to. Are you guys kidding me? You know, do add really pipe psych. Okay, so I am pulling it up. I don't know why uh, Zoom stopped talking on my own side, but I'm gonna fix it. Share screen. All right, on oh, Sister Gosta, can you check for me? Sister Gosta, is it working? It's not, I can't hear anything. So I want to go my... No, no, I know what is going on in my bedroom. Let me go in my office. Okay. I think I need to hook it up to the other speaker. That's Okay, so what about now? Well, they went on to say that uh uh Augusta, are you hearing me? Whether of sit up positive, they were not talking about one thing or the other that will happen. in projecting where the matter will stand eventually. So everything depends on whether or not sit up positive is that generally sanctioned if the format. She can so have upon the well tried ability of the African subject. Mm -hmm. But if the rather that is, if they do not change some of the things that have already been done, wrong, then the next thing will be compelled mm -hmm. to claim the right of self donation before the League of Nations. At the time this document was uh, input to hmm. China, the did you all hear that? Did you all hear what Brother Tony just said? And so the British themselves documented it. That when the natives get to find out the effect of swing that has happened, and uh, they, they, they organize themselves, that they will be going before the League of Nations to claim their right to self determination. What are we here today? Yes. The indigenous nationalities, yeah, no, the country, the 
we have come to the full consciousness of the atrocities they, 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 they packed together mm. to label Nigeria. And uh, we are today on our way, not just on our way, we already went there. Uh, I've, I've been part of uh, teams that went to the UN headquarters to discuss uh, with uh, those who will be handling the matter when it comes to the next day. And so it is, uh, uh, we decided to, to call your attention to this document that predates 1914. These documents were constituted from those who negotiated Nigeria, our father. I dealt with the Nohoto, I dealt with the I dealt with Bangaloki, I dealt with the uh, Haliman. Most of the people who actually went to Lancaster House and the, and, and the meetings before Lancaster House, they confirmed to us that they didn't, they didn't know that this was what they were signing into. If they knew on no account, would they have uh, signed up? Even the question of Sharia that came up later was an issue at the time. And this document also uh, uh, predicted that the time will come when uh, the holy war will uh, erupt in that uh, northern quarter on account of what the people are going to find out about being deceived. If you, if you read what was here and you knew the story of Yusuf that you get to Kohara, you will see that everything happening to us you know, was uh, intended to be so, so that uh, this uh, enterprise will continue uh, the way it was. I think uh, we can now go uh, over to John Federal Majesty to take us uh, uh, through what has uh, hmm. come to this. History is about to go down, my people. Wake up, wake up, morning, wake up. My friends, I will be as as dedicated to the script as possible for this one, because you are my colleagues. Nigerian Union dispute emanating from great the milestone report on the implementation of the December 16, 2020 constitutional force majority mm -hmm. and direction for we'll the be alive and direct. This is a test of the statement at this board press conference, August 17, 2021, by the Nigerian Indigenous Nationalities Alliance for Self Determination, NINAS at the expiration of the 120-day period of consultation, which commenced on April 17, 2021. The theme of this milestone report is taking back our sovereignty, a declaration of victory over the fraud of 1999. So gentlemen of the press, as we come to the close of the 120-day period of consultations, which commenced on the 17th of day of April, 2021, in the measured implementation of the constitutional force majority, we invited you here today to update our people and the global community on the tremendous progress that has been made in giving effect to the will of the peoples of Nigeria, which have for so long been suppressed by the forces of oppression and retrogression. Recall that following the December 16, 2020 Constitutional Force Majority Proclamation, a sovereignty dispute was declared by the Nigerian Indigenous Nationalities Alliance for Self-Determination, NINAS, on the grounds of grave constitutional grievances, and a five-point demand was made on the federal government of Nigeria with a 90-day period of notice for the commencement of irreversible steps towards the remed remediation of the said grievances. The full test of the proclamation was published as an advertorial in the January 2020-21 edition of the Guardian newspaper. Tell them, my brother, tell 38, them. 38, 39, 40, and 41. For the ease of reference, it is good that we recall that the five points of demand in the December 16, 2020 proclamation are one, a formal announcement by the federal government of Nigeria acknowledging the constitutional grievances and sovereignty dispute, which declared by the peoples, which was declared by the peoples of the South and the Middle Belt of Nigeria. A formal commitment by the federal government of Nigeria to the wholesale decommissioning and jettisoning of the 1999 constitution as the basis of the Federation of Nigeria 
as was done by the government of the apartheid era union of south africa in 1990 and that commenced the process by which the apartheid constitution of the then south africa was eased out so this is not something new it is not a novelty a formal announcement by the federal government of nigeria suspending further general elections under the disputed 1999 constitution since the winners of such elections will swear to and govern by that constitution so by that declaration of december 2020 that constitution ceases to exist yeah and you cannot swear people in nope. on the basis of zero you cannot that must be clear any election going forward is no void mm -hmm. ultra vice and of no consequence of constitutional backing whatsoever howsoever because the constitution is dead three a formal four a formal invitation to the peoples of the south and the middle belt of nigeria we shall work out and replace and emplace a transitional authority and we shall specify the modalities for the transitioning process including the composition and mandate of the transitional authority as well as the time frame for the transitioning and other auxiliary matters five a formal initiation of the time-bound transitioning process to midwife the emergence of fresh constitutional protocols by a two-stage process in which the constituent regional blocks hmm. will at the first stage yes and ratify their various constitutions by referendums and plebiscites and then in the second stage negotiate the terms of federating afresh as may be dictated by the outcomes of the referendum and plebiscites. Key. Recall that also that at the expiration of the 90-day period, Ninas addressed the World Press Conference in Ibadan on mm -hmm. March 17, 2020, at which it announced a 30-day period of consultations with governors and other elected officials of Ninas Alliance territory and which expired on April the 16th, 2021. Also recall that on the 17th day of April, 2021, Minas announced the commencement of another period of 120 days of consultations with the peoples of Nigeria, as well as the critical stakeholders segment of the international community, which period came to a close on August the 16th, 2021. We are glad to report to you, our people, and the international community today, the 17th of August 2021, the spectacular success of the joint multi-regional multi constitutional force majority in its main objective of defeating and peacefully easing out the imposed toxic and fraudulent 1999 constitution upon which the distressed federation of Nigeria is presently constructed. This victory over the fraud of 1999 is the first major step towards the it is. and reinstatement it is, people. of the sovereignty of the constituent components of the defunct federation of Nigeria trapped in the unitary union of death that Nigeria has become for all that defeated the 1999 unitary constitution. In order to understand the victory, we have just declared over that top 1999 constitution, and for the benefit of those who may not have followed the development in the Nigerian politics in December 16, 2020, activation of the constitutional force majority, it is significant to note that, one, in the 90-day period of notice to federal government of Nigeria, the attempt to resort to the backdoor route of constitutional amendments as a response to the sovereignty dispute raised by Ninas was rejected countrywide as Ninas and other major stakeholders, including some governors, insisted that the 1999 constitution was a total fraud that could not be cured by amendments, and more importantly, 
that the legislative mandate of the National Assembly is lawmaking and does not extend to constitution making. It is not a constitution drafting assembly. No, it's not. That first attempt is by itself an acknowledgement of the incurable foundational flaw of the 1999 constitution. In the two, in the 30 day period of consultations for governors and other elected officials in the Alliance territory, the governors of the southern state of Nigeria, in an unprecedented move, never before has it ever happened in the history of this country, met in Asaba to declare that open grazing will be banned in all states of southern Nigeria. This decision is effectively brought the governors to the side of the propositions of Nina's constitutional force majority, as that decision in their Asapa declaration and not be effectively carried out without first the commissioning the 1999 constitution and its federal uh, exclusive legislative list which currently prohibit the states from issuing firearms to enforce such a ban in the 120 day period of consultations with the pupils of nigeria and the international community the indigenous nationalities of Nigeria from all parts of the South and the Middle Belt, in embrace of the Nina Grand Propositions, marched out of the streets in their homelands and capital cities of the world, including Washington, D.C., New York, and London, to loudly assert their right to self determination and their rejection of the unitary union of death Nigeria has become. For their people under the fraudulent 1999 constitution. In particular, the Yoruba took their self determination campaign to the United Nations, leading the rest of the Nina's alliance to the point that the CNN reported this growing push for exit from the fake Lugardian experiment of 1914 by the Yoruba joining the long-standing exit campaign from the Eastern Front framed by its proponents at the Biafra agitation. On the international circuit, between April the 28th, 2021 and April the 30th, 2021, key global powers, including the United States, the European Union, and the United Kingdom, acted in concert to point Nigeria to the key prescriptions of the December 16, 2020 constitutional force majority and asking that the rulers of Nigeria or of Nigeria to put guns aside and initiate a dialogue of the peoples of Nigeria to distill a fresh legal instrument, Albert the Constitution. We recall that the United Nations, through its special rapporteur on Nigeria, had in September of 2021 declared the current 2019, sorry, as in, as in September of 2019, declared the, the current constitutional arrangement of Nigeria as a pressure cooker for injustice. And that Nigeria, under the current 1999 constitution, is now a danger to global peace security as Nigeria can snap and cause an unprecedented global refugee crisis in which Nigeria's 200 million citizens will be seeking escape from death at a time the global terror networks include ISIS and Al-Qaeda are already converging in Nigeria. Now, hmm. inside this 120-day period, the global caveat by Ninas on the reckless foreign loans by the current federal government on, of Nigeria, saw China canceling a loan of one billion United States dollars on Nigeria for the construction of a gas pipeline. Mm -hmm. Why the United States canceled an order for attack helicopters on Nigeria, and the United States Congress followed up with the ban of sale of weapons to Nigeria, following request for such a ban by Ninas under U.S. concerns about gross human rights abuse by the regime in Nigeria. 
it is significant to note that in what seems like a sudden realization and a dawning reality on the caliphate now, the coalition of northern groups, had, which had since the 2017 Igbo quick notice from the north, gained notoriety for its belligerence, suddenly realigned its position to the Nina's proposition and prescriptions regarding the Nigerian question as enca encapsulated by the Nina's proclamation of December 16, 2020, accepting A, that the Nigerian Union has collapsed. B, that we do not have a constitution at the moment mm -mm. since the imposed 1999 constitution has been repudiated and has been rejected countrywide. C, that the National Assembly cannot by amendments cure the fraud called the 1999 Constitution. No. Nope. And so must stop this present pretense that all is well mm -hmm. with the Nigerian Union. That the National Assembly must halt the current constitutional amendment exercise and genuinely join the search for solutions to the dying Nigerian Union. D that a grand meeting of the constituent component nationalities has become inevitable and that the constituent components of Nigeria must at such a meeting first agree to form a union, that is, they must agree to federate, before undertaking the task of settling the terms of that union. These sober, sober and profound postulations were made in a recent BBC interview by the spokesperson of the CNG or the coalition of northern groups, Abdulaziz Suleiman. The link is available on the sheet for you. So bearing the accuracy of the ultra conservative vote, it could be said that the postulations of the coalitions of northern groups clearly indicate that a countrywide consensus regarding the viable options for the dismantling and ground <laughs> reconfiguration of the current unworkable unitary union of Nigeria has thus emerged. I believe the comprehensive framework for undertaking the well-articulated prescriptions of the coalition of northern groups in the aforementioned BBC interview are contained in the December 16, 2020 Constitutional Force Majority Proclamation. The defeat and impending demands of the 1999 Constitution set the basis for the liberation of all who were trapped yes. in the bondage called Nigeria. Nigeria. It is no longer a matter for debate that the 1999 Constitution is a fraud and a forgery that is directly responsible for practically all the miseries tormenting Nigerians, including the killings mass poverty, hmm. gross insecurity, hmm. and general hopelessness, now leading to the demise of the Nigerian Union itself. It does not matter, therefore, which political party or which individual wins the power. That constitution guarantees the evils we lament day in, day out. It is no longer a matter for debate that the peoples of Nigeria have repudiated and rejected the 1999 constitution, and that the main people clinging tenaciously to that constitution are the caliphate elements and their surrogates who have imposed it and for whom the rogue document is a title deed. The constitution is a title deed by mm -hmm. which we hold almost exclusively this vast piece of estate called Nigeria. Why the only other people clinging to that 1999 constitution of debt are the political jobbers and merchants? Mm -hmm. who political bandits. People mm have -hmm. mass poverty blind the rest of the populace they pretend to exist. The press, it is your duty to make Nigerians understand that they are being trampled upon mm -hmm. by a paper they did not write. When you collect little and let your people suffer and you believe in God, 
let me not get emotional, but to seize us out of this lacuna, we must be emotional. This is not a, a, a issue. I'm sorry, my friend. It is no longer a matter for debate that God will bless That elections are the mechanism by which the life of the 1999 constitution is renewed every four years. You are like they are dying, they die, they die, and we carry the election like if it is oxygen, pump them away, and, and they are because begin to continue to live where we know ammunition was not there. It, it follows, therefore, that those who are tormented by that constitution, like me, but who nonetheless are set to go to another round of national elections under that constitution, like them. Are the ones renewing and reinforcing their own damnation, hmm. bondage, and enslavement? Yep. It mm. is not therefore a matter of choice whether we want to renew the source of our miseries once again in the 2023, or we want to free ourselves by rejecting now in 2021 the invitation to join in the preparation for another round of national elections in 2023. This circles of renewal must be broken if we must be free. The Yoruba says a stone that one steals does not blind one. The key to breaking the circle of renewal of the life of the 1999 constitution lies in knowing that only political parties contest elections. Yep. And all political parties in Nigeria ascribe to that evil 99 constitution. Mm -hmm. And so, whichever party wins any election, that we now we swear to uphold and defend the 1999 constitution. It follows that political parties are solely responsible for leading the rest of us to the self damnation of renewing the life of that 1999 constitution for every four years. Yep. The political we'll parties continue are to that. That become the Judas. Eh? It's <laughs> Killing leaders or the slot. The key to taking down the 1999 constitution is immediately opting the political parties from dragging us to another round of national elections in 2023. This is not a call to boycott the 2023 election, mm -mm. but a call to cut the preference for 2023 inside 2021. You only boycott when it happens. We are saying, don't think. The best to let it happen. Political parties must now have to close shop for <laughs> Remember, Bolai, those five parties there, you say they are the five I, fingers I, of a leprous hand. All political parties now, since they are more than five, it's like an, they are like octopuses with hydra heads. With the defeat of the 1999 constitution by the joint multi-regional actions of the Minas Alliance, the Sharia Caliphate that imposed and holds tightly to that constitution, as its title to own and to control Nigeria, is now confronted by the sudden demise of that title. The 1999 constitution is dead and is now on a desperate mission to reconquer the rest of Nigeria in order to re-establish ownership and control by conquest outside that defeated title deed. However, to be able to drive through its own important conquest mission, the candidate needs more time in the saddle of Nigeria's political leaders. And with it, the authoritarian powers conferred upon them by the other powerful 1999 constitution. So the only way the candidate can get that critically required time in power that is time in the power saddle is if the candidate can drag all of us to the voyage of another round of national elections in 2023 and give them another four years of fecundating and soaking this our loaf, this bread, for puff until we burst. But on the other hand, if we halt the voyage to 2023 inside 2021, the 1999 constitution will lose, will lose its life inside 2021 and we will immediately get into transitioning and therefore on the way to the regional referendums for self-determination 
Let the Yoruba nation decide where they want to be, who they want to be, who they want to be. Let the Igbo nation decide who they want to be, where they want to be, and who they want to go to. Let the Igbo do the same. Let the do the same. Let the robot do the same. The robot do the same. We know where we are. We are in a marriage because we want to. You know, they arranged the first marriage that was done without any of us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. By a man who we know is a girl, and his name is Bob Kelly. No, this is the same way to figure for all constituent blocks that are fed up with toxic Nigerian influence. Amidst the massive enlightenment campaign going on amongst peoples of the Alliance territory globally, concerning the correlation between the 1999 constitution, our collective miseries, elections, and political parties, more of our people now know that the um, that going to general election in 2023 under the 1999 constitution will spell unmitigated disaster. Why halting the preparations by political parties for 2023 is guaranteed for their freedom, for their escape profit. Accordingly, the choice is entirely in our hands. On the side of government. Let it be known that it is the specter of 2023 elections that distorts and inhibits most of what would have been appropriate and common sense solution to the multitude of seemingly intractable problems of Nigeria. Hmm. So it is sounded loud and clear that the immediate suspension of preparations towards the general elections in 2023 is the most urgently required first aid to the, to, to the to Nigeria that is currently bleeding profusely from all sides. The risk of catastrophic implosion of Nigeria becomes exponentially increased. So, Nina's call to action. Nina has a five point call. Right. Knowledge is power. The first task before us all in the period of commencing that is commencing today, August 17, the year of our Lord 2021, is to help spread this information as well as other related information on the constitutional force majority amongst the peoples of the Minas Alliance territory, wherever they are on the face planet Earth. Ninas directs the regional blocks to advance the processing and ratification of their regional constitutions and charters in readiness for the United Nations backed regional self-determination state or leave reference from the distress federation of man. I also that is it. Ninas requests you to help intensify the signing of the ongoing Nina's referendum petition by which Nina's December 16, 2023 constitutional post majority proclamation is addressed to the United Nations Security Council and also support and where possible partake in the march at the 76th United Nations General Assembly in September 2021. In this same period commencing August 17, 2021, let the campaign to persuade the political parties to close some fortunes for the reasons outlined during before be intensified. All the reasons we've outlined previously in this document it should be intensified. This will us this will bring us to domino two and the transition threshold precipitating the referendum specifically. When these actions take place, it will have a domino effect that will bring us to the transitioning threshold, which is referendum, referendum, referendum. referendum. Let the Edo people do the same. Let the Igbo people do the same. Let the Joy people do the same. Let the Akwai people do the same. Let every Nigerian decide whether to continue in this toxic, apical, bonded relationship or revise something new. With the defeat of the 1999 constitution, 
and in the spirit of the transitioning prescribed in the December 16, 2020, Nina's Constitutional Force Majority Proclamation, all governments in the Alliance territories are invited to brace up, take charge, and assume responsibility for the safety and economic welfare of their people, making appropriate legislations and regulations to step into roles previously denied them or prohibited by the fraudulent and now disputed 1999 constitution, especially via the 68th item federal exclusive legislative list. In that 1999 constitution, pending when formal transitional mechanisms are worked out. Power belongs to the people. Thank you for your attention. I've read this on behalf of Professor Bandi Akikoye, the city chairman of Nigerian Indigenous Nationalities Alliance for Self Determination. My name is Dr. Pedro Obaseki. <laughs> good one, good one, Dr. Baseki. Good one. Ah, good one. And I'm your colleague, so you have to be the last MP of the <laughs> so as you can see our uh, people history is taking Western place time. Is he telling his story? Is he asking you a question? So I want to, because when you were reading it, you were making reference to it, saying that as a result of that decision they made in, uh, in Asaba, was as also giving consent to the fact that they are the not on the side. No, the 1999 constitution, as a result of that decision, they realized that was a bad constitution. Of achieving 
this large of a project that will be turning close shop. What is your talent? It's not that uh, the person is close shop. I want to know your talent. Your Arsenal talent. Thank you. Thank you. What are the constituents of Linus? What are the constituents parts of Linus? He wants to know, secondly, the governors also said that in that same meeting, they felt so that they do not necessarily subscribe to um, self determination. Mm -hmm. So, how do we align that to work things out? And then, thirdly, um, the, when you say close shop, what do we exactly do? So, okay. Right. Um, the, the, I begin with this. And they took that position. 
we were, we are saying, and we, we know they are listening, and we're inviting them to come. They have moved away from where they used to be uh, in saying uh, they stand with that constitution for all that. They say they will ban open grazing. The guns they will require, no one of the governors can issue one rifle to uh, either uh, vigilante or whatever they form. It still has to be that Abuja, and it is that constitution, the exclusive list on that constitution puts arms and ammunition on the exclusive place. And the, 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 the subject of policing and all kinds of things related to security, that is why the governors cannot, you know, uh, enforce that ban. Therefore, if they are serious, they say they are playing politics, I know they are not. They, they may have other difficulties, but I, I certainly know that the feelings going on in their spaces do not give them joy. So we're explaining to them that the mechanism for arriving at where they can have guns that are not dependent on the ones who are killing them, because I can't make any distinction, I can't, I'm, I'm unable to make a distinction between the ones killing from inside the bush and the ones who are fighting from the government now. For goodness sake, the president of Nigeria has remained the is, 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 is life grand patron of Mieti Akla. Mieti Akla that takes, proudly takes responsibility for the murderous activities of a, of a full and headsman. My president goes to the treasury to take a hundred billion naira to give to Mietia mm. and then pass it over to Fulani Hesme. Mm -hmm. I'd like to make a distinction mm. between the Mietia Allah, the Fulani Hesme, and, and the and the, the, the media has so, done know how to make the distinction. So that's that's for that's for that's for the that's for uh, what they call that's what the governors and what they say. We didn't they, 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 no, they also said they always he said they said that they do not uh, uh, they subscribe to self nation. I can tell you because you have dealt with them, they do not understand, 99% of them do not understand the meaning of self determination. They are all criminals, political bandits. That mean 30% autonomy. Self determination, as long as you are the one who decides for yourself in your space, that's all it means. Therefore, if you are the ones who are talking about the structure, who want to go back to the system, they only, they only asking for maybe 70 or 80 percent of autonomy, which was what Nigeria was agreed to be. And so, again, the ones who are saying they want to be for global republic or their platform, they're asking for 100 percent autonomy. And so, it is a question of knowing the meaning of self determination. Self determination can give you a government of power. The only thing that is important is that it is the one who has to be governed in his space that is determining. Uh, who he relates with in terms of union and the terms of that union in terms of what is written in constitution. There are two different reasons. It's like memo and article. The memo creates the company. The article re 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 relates the relationship between the donors of the company. There are two different documents. And so the constitution, you see, that begins with we the people having solemn days not to live together. Do hereby make a the following constitution is the memo that we the people is we the we the Yoruba we the Ogoni population that could be conscious of their own Yoruba will be conscious of 60 million people and you say we the Yoruba people having solemnly resolved with the Yoruba people the Igbo people the Bara people do hereby make and give unto us they, that they resolve to be in one union that's one place and it's formed they now said they wrote the constitution to regulate their affairs again a second first step and that's and that's all we are concerned about in this movement we are asked about the political you know, who, who is the leader the the, the leaders the, you are asking the number of organizations in your back the last i think was in march we went to the the, the, the panel the day the Google, yeah. uh, came to join us the yoga organizations that are aligned with the lana homo do i loan are in excess of a hundred so we won't think about the last time. And as I speak with you, since uh, Nina uh, began to do more things, we have received requests from over 200 other organizations that uh, were operating in different parts of the world. Of and course, Africa. still receiving. From the other space mm -hmm. In the eastern part, all the self-determination organizations in the eastern half of southern Nigeria, according to what you see in that map, you see Dr. Don Pedro Abbasi, the leader of the Midwest movement, the whole of what we call a dose state today yeah. and the death estate and that plan. All the way through the Bayesa and the rivers and the 
second, you will see the list of signatures. And therefore, you can imagine the heads of the head of Pandem, uh, is, uh, so rest in peace, uh, the air commodore, the young assistant in Ghana, is signatory to this. And he didn't just go sign all the associations associated with Pandem were there. Uh, so they, they, all of those who had ever gathered anybody in that in those eleven states of uh, what to call the southeast and southeast, Nnamdi Amodo was uh, the president general of Ohanese, and he, did, he, he signed up to this. Uh, so uh, you go from there to which other part is left? The middle there. All of all of all of just look at the signatures. That's, that's why we're inviting you particularly in the media. That's why we gave you that presentation. We're discussing the lives of 200 million people. Now, wow. The United Nations itself had, had enough concern to send a special rapporteur to come to find out why trouble going all over Nigeria. Poverty time being the rooftop of Nigeria. So, a country that sells 3 million barrels of crude oil. Young people from Nigeria running from Nigeria as if uh, you know, national out of hell. Every, they are ready to go anywhere. They are ready to trek across the Mediterranean the, uh, the desert and then uh, the Mediterranean Sea. Everywhere they go, the, anywhere but Nigeria. What is the problem? That so, rapporteur came to the conclusion after a visit to Nigeria that happened in August of uh, 2019. Came to the uh, determination that it was the concern arrangement of Nigeria that was responsible for all those uh, two o'clock and that Nigeria has become a danger to the global community under that constitution. That if it is not taken care of, Nigeria will snap and the global community will have to work out how to manage 200 million refugees. And that the, 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 the global terror network, Al Qaeda and the, uh, ISIS, are already here. So, why would the global community and the, and the, and the powers that be. Yeah, the and the stupid media asking stupid questions. They are of they, you know they are not paying attention. If it is, if it is BB Nigeria, they would know everything about it. Close shop. Yes, slaughterhouse. They will go buy houses for their children in overseas. To join the political bandits, that's all. <laughs> you can win your election, and I never go and select the fourth, the person on the fourth, fourth on the list. Like we saw in Imo, you like we saw in Imo, and what are you going to do about it? So we are pleading with the political parties that the end product of everything they do is to continue. 
confessing, let's all our miseries flow from that constitution. Yep. All the political parties in Nigeria subscribe to that constitution. Yep. Any one of any one of them that wins will have to swear to depend on the, that constitution. Therefore, we are back in our damnation. They are reinforcing the source of our misery. But when they win the election, the ones that are governors will begin to buy take 12 million every month. The ones that are senators will begin to take 50, 60 million every month. That's all they're interested in. Yep. So we're telling them, we're inviting them to please even just listen, examine it. Because the ones who are suffering from this, the ones who are being killed, whether it's in the middle of it, or in the east, or in the west, they are the ones calling them now to say, please, we can't go to renew the life of this constitution again in 2023. Let us stop now and go into transition. And uh, how will it happen? We are not uh, inviting any novel. South Africa was in exactly the same situation by 1990. Our constitution was introduced in 1910. And ANC was formed in 1912. The same thing we are trying to do now was what South Africa had to contend with for 80 years. And it came to the point in 1990 that uh, somebody in government, greatly divided, had the courage. And he announced, and, uh, you know, uh, uh, and he, he, he made an announcement that the South, that the apartheid constitution would be decommissioned. It is what Frederick the Black did in 1990 that we're inviting that with the apartheid constitution to commence the process of uh, this matter apartheid. The only difference between our situation and that of South Africa is that the South Africa is the poor. But everything is the same. White skin, strange minority, teaching their children, and the important the constitution that make everything they are told to the exclusion of the owners of the land. Our own of you started in 1914. The white skin we have here is the full and sponsored, sponsored by the British. Then they joined venture against all of us. And the and the proceeds of that then venture is the three million barrels of food oil that Nigeria sells every day. It belongs to them exclusively. As the job people, as the security people, as the as the and, and, and the ones, all of them in that uh, place we call the Nigeria. It is uh, it is it is in that regard that we are telling all of those who are listening now that what we have to do, and it's an emergency, the people who are being killed. 200 million people, or at least 150 million, if you remove the seller belt, because those of us have succeeded. I want you the media to pay particular attention. The Constitution of Nigeria, Section 10, explicitly prohibits state religion, whether by federal or state government. Two contiguous states, from Sokoto that goes all the way to uh, uh, Medubri, simultaneously adopted Shari. Have they not succeeded from a secular union? They have. And we do not quarrel with that. We only say, who interpret it to mean that they've exercised their right to self determination. That's what they decided to do. Their state assemblies passed the law. The governors signed up to it. And they've been implementing it, chopping up people's hands, and they're killing those who think there why they take money from political back. So we're saying that they have left, they have succeeded from a state. And a title deed, which is what we are pronouncing dead today, the title deed, the constitution. Is uh, is 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 uh, is been defeated, but our people do not know that they have become free. The prison gate is open. Our people are still sitting and refusing to come to leave the day. The constitution that bound them leg and hand is dead. So we are inviting them today after this one twenty days of conversation, having given the federal government ninety days. What did they do? They wrote to the national assembly to try to go and do amendment, and we told them that the mandate of the national assembly doesn't extend to constitutional measures. That was how they think collapse on their head. Then the government, instead of coming to the consultation, we invited them. They read what they read and went to us and that presented to that uh, speaking in a manner that they uh, you know uh, tell their people that they are coming. They've not come around fully, we're inviting them openly again to come mm -hmm. to the, the proposition because there are some people who are being slaughtered and are listening and waiting to see what they will do. Are they going to stand with the enemy? To, to, to continue to defend and uphold this constitution, planning another election in 2020 that would need to have that constitution so that their people can be slaughtered. The people are trying to overrun us, punk out, afraid, to establish control outside what the constitution you know, gave them. It is now up to us to allow them or not to allow them. Thank you very much. So, my
have is, so what we're going to do, we'll take one more question from the press uh, here, and then I will turn it back to you for more, uh, for the, I see a lot of hands open, so we'll take one more question here, and I'll turn it to you for another uh, round of questions. Okay, who else, who else question here? All okay. right, so introduce yourself and your media accounts, and then your question and people while that is ongoing while this is ongoing please if you want to if you know you want to ask question you have to raise your hand using the device please ensure your camera is turned on that your name reflects on the you know on the lower third if we have like iphone galaxy or whatever sadly we won't call you up if you do not have your camera turned on if you do not have your name there we won't so once more um can we have one more question from the audience then uh, we come back to the virtual audience here so we wrap quickly around. all right so we have one question and then we'll come back to you okay all right go okay. ahead one more question <laughs> Santo would do our land go live, 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 live.
to the point of the election in 2023. Between now and that two years, if they refuse to listen, I'm sure that those who did not know that the role they were playing, they were playing all this while, young people whose future have been mortgaged, whose, whose, whose people will be forced to react by the constitution, the political parties are clinging on to. Those people are going to decide what they are doing is just to place all the cards on the table and to offer a framework. If you read the five points of demand, you will see exactly what we propose about how to go step by step. There is also another document of 2018, which has also been shared to you. That open memorandum to the president, uh, Buhari, by this uh, alliance, offering a step-by-step -step start to finish you know, uh, mechanism for undertaking the fundamental reconstruction that this union requires now. You will see them in government every time saying that nobody knows how it will be done, how it can ever be done. No. When we convened Pronapo in 2005 and we had 164 ethnic delegations meeting for two years, sitting in Lagos, sitting in Paraka, sitting in Enugu, sitting in Jos, sitting in Kano, sitting in Lagos to conclude, including and Muhammad Buhari as part of the Fulani delegation that came, including the Sayyid Abu Bakr, Sultan in Sokoto now, he was the colonel in the army. They were all part of the delegation that came. All of the groups who were angry enough with Nigeria decided to carry arms. Asali Tokuba and his uh, uh, Niger Delta volunteer quarters, Daniel Adams and uh, his own PTC, even the ones who were talking Biafra at the time, like, who was with it. We persuaded all of them to please put their guns outside and come to a meeting of of the owners of Nigeria. Forget what the British did. Forget what the military did. We are here now. The trouble is here to resolve. What do we do? And we we went around, you know, during that for two years. The the U.S. Center of Dollar Mission, the 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 uh, European Union Center of Dollar Mission, I was directly involved in dealing with those. They started off on the first day to the last day. The draft that came out of that uh, in, uh, that process. It was a delegate from Casina that moved the motion at Benin for the adoption of that, uh, you know, finished product. Everything we are trying to resolve now, everything we tried to resolve in 1967, we have done, you know, they were, 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 we put everything on the table. We actually put the question of, you know, we want to continue in the union. Ojuku was involved. Enohoro was involved. Soinka was involved. Who else do you want to go and bring to, to, to raise this discussion? And then people who are in government, let me tell you, some of us are thinking that government, because they've uh, conditioned us to, to that uh, mm -hmm. uh, this uh, pyramid, mm -hmm. where mm -hmm. is like God, and nobody can ask him what are you doing. Mm -hmm. Government is like the higher management of the company. In, the, in comparison with the owners of the company, the shareholders, the Nigerian union is a grand venture. He's the media that is delaying this government. process. They will not explain this to the people. Of their own, they who decided to come together, which was the meeting that happened in Lancaster House, which is this first place in this position of a way the people have solemnly resolved. It is that force that Yoruba has resolved with Pera, with Tim, with the job that we're saying you cannot put our signature on a document we did not make. Nope. That now sees all our assets. No all our assets of the United Delta is seized from them by this constitution. Mm -hmm. There's nobody in Abuja. That can return that into them except the sovereign owners of Nigeria decide what will happen. You saw the petroleum industry bill they, 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 they are using to insult the intelligence of everybody. We, we don't we don't have any more to tell them that the contents of that uh, proclamation of uh, December 16th. Anybody who could ask us any question about how should please go and read that uh, proclamation. We come back to the first uh, question. What was it? Um, so anyone no 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 this, no 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 no, no, the first element, let's just say, yeah, yeah, yes, you have another, yes, anyone from the government, like, uh, yes, yes, uh, 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 yes, uh, 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 u
from what we said that time. Just that people didn't listen. Uh, Pastor John went on national television at the time to say we were committing treason if we if, if we called a meeting of the owners of Nigeria. Of course, when he saw the owners of Nigeria, that, uh, nobody told him to get that. Now, all of them who were, who it was part of full education that came, uh, the owner of uh, the party of uh, what they call the uh, APC was governor in Lagos. He was directly involved from the time of the because it was the official business of Nigeria that Konako came to do to make out the constitution by which to go to uh, the democracy. So, Kola uh, Chinobu was very much involved. The chief of staff, Fasola, at the time we were doing this, the chief of staff who had to relate their mind with the conference for Fasola, the attorney general in that administration of Labour State was a chief of staff, is now uh, vice president. Uh, who, who do I call, who do I live amongst all of them? They understand exactly what they're talking about. They do. And Criminals, they political bandits. The law, the law, the, the, the law makes us against this misconception that unless they are, uh, their mandate is to make law, the constitution by which the attached mandate is supposed to be conferred is also a dispute. So what they are, what they are, what they are talking about is like uh, the owners of a company, the shareholders of a company are holding a meeting, and then uh, the management people they hire to work for them are now sitting. They, they threw away their memo and article. What happened was in 1996 was that the memo and articles of the enterprise in Nigeria was overthrown by higher management. It was people in government that it was the one on the on the on the on the 27th day of May in 1967 that uh, that uh, fractured the 12 uh, the, the four region into 12 days. And the federal government from that day became the owner of the assets of those regions and progressively they chopped up those 12 days into the taxes we have now in which one region has become the owner and controller of everybody. The National Assembly does not have the mandate to even partake of this discussion. They don't even have the brain power either. <laughs> At all. They don't even know what they are, what they are there for. All the people who have been swearing to defend our vote, this constitution that is a fraud. We went to court in 2007 to say that this constitution is a fraud. The Attorney General of Nigeria of the time Joined issues with us in court, and he, he had no answer. He said he had nothing to say. That was the answer to our attack that the, the constitution by which our life is being ruined is a fraud. Okay. So let's take a very brief one. Let's talk about one of the questions that came on. What is the defense guy activist? I just don't want us to continue to run in circles. Self-determination. Hello. Every decision is a self-determination, but all self-determination is not equal to or tantamount to secession. Saying I want to determine how I engage in this union does not mean I want to declare the global security report. Get it clear, because it's important to educate our people properly. I don't know what I get my point. You must know that as at the time Awolowo was the, I'm using that as deliberately, was the premier of the Western region. By self determination, it was agreed across board by all of them that Mr. Awolo, Chief of Batemi Awolowo, owns 50% of everything that comes out of the Western Union, of the Western region. Today, it, you only get 13% derivation which is tantamount to 87% deprivation. You must know that Nigeria, when it worked, when Kupo House was built, when Western Nigeria had TV stations, was 50, 30, 20. No, you are young people. The people that we represent, the people Tony is screaming for, the people Professor Akitoye is screaming for, when they were born, our people had 50 percent of whatever comes out of Lagos. 30 percent is put at the federal to the federal government. 20 percent in a federation account to be shared according to popularity to population demography and spread. Today Nigeria operates via reverse osmosis. 
you must know. You have the most important plank in everything everybody on this side is doing. That is just a comment. Thank you very much. So, Matt, there's a uh, over to you for some special audience. Thank you once more. Uh, we are now back here virtually. And uh, I would be very quick. And, you know, <laughs> we have over 15, about 15 or 14 people raising their hand. But what we're going to do, people, in order to get as much as, you know, more people to ask their questions, bear in mind this will be lumped into one. Now, the following is how I'm going to do it. I'll give you 30 seconds. Please ensure your camera is turned on. If your camera is not turned on, your name does not show, you will be jumped. 30 seconds, ask your question. Please, those at the conference center, make note. I'm going to get this one. Allah, you're there. Please, can you unmute yourself? Your 30 seconds starts now. Thank you so much. My question is this. We are the people that give the politician the gas and the power to be humiliating us. Yes. An election should be will be taking place in West Nigeria if it's still if, if it's still alive, if, if the country will still be alive. What are we doing to make sure that Oshun Ekiti will not have the election in place? Mobilize the people. Thank you so much. Thank you very Oshun much. Ekiti. That's uh, very good. So um please put that note that down. He asked, what are we doing to ensure that election and uh, in Osun and the Kitty? So I We've know. told you guys this and over and over again. Yes. You have to start from your neighborhood. Uh, While you're sitting in your house in London, how many people have you sponsored to make sure that election will not take place in your neighborhood? Thank you very much. Um, my concern is for Lagos State, one. Secondly, my concern is for the youth between the age of um, 15 and 25. How do we orientate these people to see what we are not to see what we are seeing? Because it seems they are sleeping. How do we enlighten them? How do we teach them? How do we let them know what is happening? And how do we get them involved? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That's a very brilliant time management there. And uh, the next person is uh, Joseph Anu. Joseph, quickly, 30 seconds. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, everybody. Please, this is what I want to ask. There's something that's going on that is victimized we youth that doesn't give us room to come out, to come and express our feelings, which is police brutality. There's seriously police brutality going on in Nigeria, especially in Lagos State and Ogo State. They kill people, they kidnap people day in, day night, killing. They will continue to kill until we end that place. This is part of what is giving us fear to come out, to express our feelings, to join most of you people. A lot of this, but they are free. Please. Thank you very much for your question. So the next person is Prince Adewale, please. Prince Adewale, please. Thank you very much, sir. Oh, sorry. OK. Thank you very much. And thank you, Tony, for taking us this far. I appreciate you so much. Um, because of the time constraint, just going to go uh, quickly. Um, part of what I need to ask, I've just been asked by Mr. Joseph. As we all say, there's so much problem, so much arrest, police brutality, arresting our people, government killing, arresting within Yoruba, demanding ransom, because the way they're asking us to bail is like demanding ransom for law. Is there anything we can do to stop this? Maybe if Nina's can help us speak to the international Thank community. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Your time is up. Uh, sorry, uh, Ado Yikin, please. Is this a I know he says somebody has already asked a question and then he's asking again. Okay, uh, good afternoon. Okay, um, some of the questions I would like to ask has also been asked. <laughs> okay, now just to add a little bit of uh, it. Now, the international community, because I, I want to believe the international community will play a very big part in, in, in this. Now, the international community, how, what, what is their own uh, perspective of this? Like, are they really willing to uh, come to the aid of the Nigerian, the indigenous people of Nigeria? Are they really involved in this? 
Thank you. Thank you very much. That's a very kind uh, time management as well. So um, I would now take, so, sadly, I will only take two more, then we'll wrap it up because I can see um, there are some questions that were prepared. Please, if someone has asked you a question, there is no need, you know, repeating them. You can just lower your hands so that that question will be attended to. I'm going to take a, um, Joseph Carey. Joseph Carey, please. Thank you very much for the opportunity to ask the question. Uh, my question is, is it possible for Ninas to mobilize uh, uh, the so-called electorate to start to recall uh, their representatives in the National Assembly as part of the shutting down of um, the political parties? Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, and the last person I will be taking now will be um, Olufemi Adeni. Olufemi Adeni, quickly unmute yourself and ask your question. Thank you very much. My question is about some of our people that are being held hostage in Abuja and outside Nigeria. So I know that uh, some people have been involved in their release. What is Nina doing to ensure that our this people are, are not out of their hostage minds. again <laughs> and their property houses are no longer destroyed again by this lawless people? Thank, Thank you. you. Nina Thank is you not your government, again. brother. Uh, you, uh, quickly also meet yourself. So with that still not true too, seven questions, but I think we can basically say it's five questions because some of them overlapped. So Tony. I think um, you obviously, uh, you know, you you in the center there had all that was asked. So my question then will be, can you kindly respond to this? Can we be very sensitive of a time? And, you know, the time starts now. Go ahead. Right. Uh, I begin with this one that talked about uh, what we have to, what we could do about uh, the kids and the uh, hotel Again, we invite everybody to go and read exactly what we wrote down. It is in the proclamation. It is in the one of uh, the statement of today. We are not. Uh, we are not. We, we are not concerned about the uh, off-season election of states. And I'm right here. It is the 2023 election that we are concerned with to shut down the journey to it before it begins. Anything that happens to that uh, general situation will. Uh, uh, everybody will like us to it. If uh, those states are looking to have done the election before the shutdown happens, good luck to them. If, uh, if they'll be sensitive enough to realize, uh, like uh, Peter will be and just be telling them, that uh, he initially he thought it was uh, the good driver which he thought he would be, uh, that was the fire. No, the engine of Nigeria is not. And so it is, two, it is the presidential election of 2023 that we are talking about. We have not asked anybody to go to disrupt uh, any of the corner side. Let us read what is written so that we can put ourselves into the plan if you do not understand the plan and you jump into the middle of it well, yeah like the one asking me question that i'm insulting her oh another election how are you going to stop it that's frustrating that's for this one rosemary we were talking about uh youth and uh what uh, they, they, they will be asking we are asking uh, them for the the, the the knowledge the youth have, you know, is what is required most in this current yep, engagement. Yep, yep. The internet is there to spread the, it, this information. If 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 five percent, if five percent of those who are lamenting in Nigeria who have education enough to join the task, if five percent of them get to know what you what you now mm -hmm. this problem will not take six months to solve. No, it will not. But if they leave the solution, what I bring. And they are listening to noise and just uh, becoming emotional and not, uh, you know, uh, having any plan that can be advanced to solve the problem. They are going to uh, uh, put themselves in harm's way. We are here engaging the source of the problem. It is this constitution that, uh, you know, uh, guarantees all of what is happening. And we are in a position to pull back our signature from this constitution and take it down. And all of those things will be extinguished from source. Immediately. Kidnapping. Taking police brutality.
if they join, this matter will be solved, including the police brutality. Is it not because we have a centralized police, uh, you know, uh, system that we are now talking about uh, what uh, answers and all of that? From if you solve police, who is going to solve left? Who is going to solve, uh, you know, uh, uh, the infrastructure like that? Who is going to solve quota system that lock you out of opportunities? Who is going to solve the mass poverty in which uh, this naira is gone to five hundred bucks for one uh, dollar? You know, if you if you don't if you don't really and look at what can solve the problem and be a part of how that is, is being done, uh, then the problem will survive. But if you listen. We will spread this message in a matter of weeks, everybody will get to know. The politicians and all of those who are opposed the constitution are too few. The Fulani and uh, whoever they bring from across the border are against too few. How can they contend with this alliance if all of us become serious? But if we decide to work with ignorance, which is one of the key things that sustain our ignorance is their biggest capital. We have a, we have we have education, we have information, we have internet that can multiply. Why are we not using all of that with the, with the avalanche of information we have now to get rid of this uh, problem once and for all? So that's uh, that's about that. Uh, we come down to uh, uh, Gary that talked about uh, recall. No, we have we have a timeline, you know, uh, situation in which uh, if we work hard, there's no reason why we can't why that constitution will not be out of our life in course of 2021. Why do we have to waste time to record them? Something that will now be in the hands of INEC to do. Let us let us examine the plan we have on the table and then bring our energies to that plan. If we are discussing within the context of that, uh, that uh, plan, they, they, they will turn off the tap and stop uh, more, all these, uh, you know, uh, patch, patches of, uh, you know, reaction here and there will not uh, take us anywhere. They are already upon us. They want to, uh, they want to kill us off at the land. We don't have the luxury of time to be recalling them and discussing something that will be in the hands of INEC to decide for us. When we need the energy to go straight to, uh, you know, uh, reaching the domino to If you have uh, more time, uh, if you don't mind, if you have, uh, you know, if, if you have more time, we can take, because obviously there are more people that raise their hands. So um, how, how does that sit there? Are we able to take more questions? Okay, we can do. Mass is okay. We have, uh, if you have a way of getting the email addresses, we can send this material, this text of the speech, to uh, everyone because we pretty much have many of the answers. But we really want to round up the two minutes. Okay. The hour of one of that's fine. I mean, uh, for many people that are watching us globally, um, the speech that was read is already online. Um, if you want to find it, you can head to gingermedia.com. It's already published there. And we also uh, have it on our uh, Facebook. Uh, also on this Zoom uh, that that's of truth. has been shared in the uh, comment section. Also, for anyone who wishes to know more about Minas, obviously, I would allow Tony just uh, one minute, and when I say one minute, I mean one minute to uh, give just uh, a summary of uh, where to get what information as regards to Nina's. Oh, Tony, do you want me to get Johnny to do that, or do you want to take it up? Strictly yeah, one Johnny, minute. No, Johnny, Johnny can. Uh, Johnny will do better with us. Uh, but uh, let me just let me just close by telling our people that. The right we are exercising now, which is why Nigeria has a problem, including those who are asking what is the international community doing. The international community has gone ahead of us. What was the reason the US canceled the sale of the helicopter, back helicopters, uh, 875 million dollars for against Nigeria? What was the reason uh, uh, China is canceled loan of one billion they already approved? What was the reason Nigeria they put uh, on the special uh, on the as a country of special uh, concern? Uh, like uh, along with Iran as a state sponsor of them. The international community is waiting for us to do the need to. We, we spent the whole of 2019 discussing from one department to the other. There's nothing we're saying in this room now that was not said that I did not have to take on on the floor of Congress in Capitol Hill, both in the House and in the city and at the State Department. They, they have gone ahead to initiate policies that should have, uh, you know, that we should take advantage of. But our people are not 
They are not. They are, they are castigated. Mm -hmm. Nigel being emotional. They are not going to do for you what you can do for yourself. Thank you so very much. Thank you, Dr. Baseki. Thank you, Tony Nari. Thank you, everyone and the media. Um, my recommendation to everyone is uh, get involved with, uh, if you're from the southeast and south south, get involved with the Lower Niger Congress. They are the Nina's affiliates from that zone, from that block. If you are from the Middle Belt, get with uh, the Middle Belt Forum. If you're from Yoruba, the Yoruba space, get with uh, Ilana Omo Odua. There's work for you to do. Everyone, there is work for you to do. Your best, um, the best recommendation is for you to connect with those who are already connected. I can send you to website, I can send you to Nina's FFN.org. But most of all, get involved with your local, with the block that you, where you uh, reside, where you are from. Uh, that is where you can, uh, for the people that are already involved, so they can get you uh, involved in the work. Uh, you can also go to ninasfn.org and uh, sign the petition, uh, request for referendum at um, uh, ninasfn.org. And um, the most important thing is get involved. Don't sit back and watch. Get involved. Thank you, everyone. Thank that you, is Mazi, is okay. Thank you very much, Johnny. That's people, that's a very fantastic place to live it. It has been my pleasure to be your host in the last two hours. Again, one thing we must all have to know is obviously something is amiss with this marriage. And this marriage, what means and what my good brother there, um, the doctor himself, Dr. Don Pedro Abaseki and Tony Nadi. What has been said, if I may attempt to summarize this factual lecture? It's All right. Simple. So our people, as you can see, we are done here. History has been made. Uh, thank you for uh, joining us this morning. For those of you that stayed throughout the two hours of broadcast. Uh, as mothers, we have to get ready for work today as usual. But we got to do what we got to do. So we get up by five to make sure that you're part of this historical um, event that took place today. You know, you see the issue why this thing, this movement, you know, it's not getting exactly where you think you should be now is because you, 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 and you are not doing what you're supposed to do. Some people think there are some random people doing it there. Let them continue when they come. Some people will exempt themselves and they think, oh, how am I going to stop police brutality? When they are telling you the one thing that can stop all your problems, you only have one problem, police brutality. Some people have, they can't get a job, they can't eat, they can't they can live their lives. There's so many things, compounding factors, multifactorial, mm -hmm. all these things going on that they cannot get over. And we're telling you guys, this is the one thing that you need to do. When you guys move as a nation, when we move as people, you will find out that you went now, they don't have any choice than to appear. So as long as you begin to think, eh, hey, let me do it this way, or what's up, you know, some people will think it's a joke, challenging and challenging and challenging and think it's all about challenging while you're hiding behind the internet. You're wasting your time. So we have to be honest with ourselves. The earlier we understand this protocol, the better. That noise making, radio broadcasts, shouting ain't gonna get it. This is the only strategy, people, as mothers, as sisters, as people that love their people. This is the only strategy that can get us out, out of the quagmire that we find ourselves in Nigeria. If not, somebody said one time, he said you'll continue to run in circles with no escape route. That's what you will be doing. So I pray that today my people will begin to hear the honest version of what they need to do for their freedom and begin to do it so we can all get home faster. I'm not here to fight anyone. I'm not here to curse anyone. I'm not here to insult anyone. All I want is for you to understand what we need to do. Bring your uh, 
alternative or whatever to the table. Let's examine it. Don't hide behind the computers and be typing stuff. If you have something better than what Nina's uh, is proposing, bring it. Let's let's examine it like we examine Nina's. Put it out there like they did their own. All right, Sister Augusta, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Let me just do briefly because I, yeah, we're, we're all getting ready to go to work. So uh, for those that don't know how to log on to the Nina's, if you have the Android phone, you can go ahead and download the uh, Nina's app. There's a Nina's app that when you download it, it's even easier. Once you download the Nina's app, it brings you to the front page where you will type your information, choose your nationality, and you know submit. Then you will get a, um, an email to confirm that you already did that. So for those that need to, haven't done this already, because we need to massively what we did today is the end of the 120 days, but we still need to massively, massively, massively sign this petition because the petition goes directly to the U.S. Security Council. So it's not like it's going to one Nigerian, whatever. It's going directly to the U.S. Security Council. We need the numbers. Sign the petition. And for those that don't know how to uh, get people, if you download it, you can go into your villages or your communities and sign people up. Remember our mothers and fathers, some of those that are not educated, they don't know how to operate this. So use it as a duty, get some people, buy them some of this small, small hydro phone, tell them to go into the villages and let them register people. We need the numbers. This is the time to get the numbers. And you know the time is now, as uh, the uh, co conference said, once we get all these things done, it will not take wa a while. Even yeah. Your, 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 um, what is it called? The, the elect, um, your politicians will say, man, these people really meant it. So, because all of us, let's get, the work is not for just Nina. The work is for everybody. <laughs> My dear. It is sovereign. Everybody. Sovereign, sovereign. <laughs> we are not getting sovereign. paid for getting up five o'clock in the morning. We are used to. We I, got I, up I four this morning. Because I haven't slept. So, sovereignty <laughs> is for you and I. Sovereign is not just for me. I'm not going to get you your freedom. I'm looking for my own. So please, do the needful. And your needful is get people signed up because we need the numbers now. This is the time to go out to get the numbers. Thank you all very much. We Thank you. Continue. We have nothing but love for you guys, brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. Nothing but love. We have nothing to gain. We are not trying to be your minister. We are not trying to be your commissioner. We are saying, can my people have the same that Americans are enjoying? Can my people eat the same? Can my people eat more than the American? Can they live better than American? Can they do a whole lot? That's all this is all about. So don't get it twisted. Some people think it's a competition. We are doing this. My dear, I'm least interested. If you know me, my thing is go to work and sleep. If I could have it that way, I'm good with that. Sleep and work. That's it. So please don't get it twisted. A brother is asking, can we register without an email? I think so. I think, I think so. so. I think like register. number or email. Phone number, yes. Phone number so, or email. So right. go ahead and register. Get more people involved because once right. you do your own, don't sit by. Your brothers and sisters, you, you know their numbers already. Put their information. Those ones living in the village, you know that cannot come out. Put their information. Download the app. The app is easier. If you download the app on your Android phone, you are good to go. So download the app. Do not wait. Once you have done the one for your family, go to your neighbor and do it for them. Don't, don't tell them and say, go and register. Do it for them. Stay there. Be asking mm -hmm. them. Put your information. They will do it. Pack, 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 pack. You press center uh, and um, submit. That's it. So right. do it for everybody because we the time is of the essence. We don't have time anymore. Let's get out of this uh, this contraption. It, it's, it's becoming annoying. Because guess what? Afghanistan, unless you guys are not listening, Nigeria has been deceived by that BB Niger. Afghanistan has been taken over by the Taliban. Taliban. And you know they are working with the and Northern you know they're working, exactly. they're working with them. So if you guys are there watching BB Niger, Taliban will come in there. They already I mean, have the, all the American weapons. So let me tell you guys this. So Americans left all these weapons for the 300,000 armies for, mm -hmm. to, to, to be part of the new government. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you know that these people literally left all those equipments? All right. the Americans left them and ran. And this all whole right. thing was planned from day one. Is I don't know who they're deceiving. They knew they weren't going to defend that country. They knew exactly what they were going to do. So now all those weapons are, are in the hands in of the Taliban. Hand. 
And we know wait, that wait, Taliban wait. is ISIS, and ISIS is Iswa. Iswa. They will come and take everybody out. One, one, before you and arrive, everybody will be gone. Everybody will Don't be play gone. with this. So for those that think it's a challenge, for those that think it's a competition, then for those that think, oh, who they want to be seen. I don't want to be seen. Yeah. I'm hiding here in America. I want you guys to be safe. <laughs> Get this thing done quickly so we can go home quickly. I don't have a yeah, please. It's getting scarier and scarier and scarier. Yeah, yeah, and every day, yeah, God is giving us reasons why we should hurry exactly. up and get this thing done. If Afghanistan on is enough reason, you could see them running around plane. As the plane was flying up, people were dropping. The people, some people had the arms of the plane. They were dropping from 100 kilometer high or whatever. So, Bikono, do not take this thing for granted. These guys want to take away their land. And our land is where the resources are. That is where, that, the, especially the southern region and some parts of the middle, but that is where the resources are. They want to take these resources and expand. So, do not wait. Do not say, ah, eh, wait a kilo, kilo, shale, kilo. No, start, get us these numbers. Get these numbers as soon as you can, please. Stamina, let us close. Get the numbers, get the numbers. We don't have time. We don't have time. Get the numbers, get the numbers. Let us, let us, let us go. Download it, download the iDroid on your phone and you get the numbers. All right, my people, look at this. I have my shoe. I'm running to work. No kidding. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm late. Like, I'm seriously late. All right. We'll see you guys on Saturday. We I'm love Saturday. you. All. Please stay Thank safe. We're praying. We pray that mm -hmm. God will continue to protect you guys while we get this job done. Okay? Okay. Love, love, love. Bye-bye, you all. Bye. -bye. Bye.